Hey guys, this is Ryan from SHS. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up OctaVerify as your multi-factor authentication method. So to get started, let's just open up a web browser. Um, I use Safari on, on the Mac. Um, we recommend Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. So go ahead and navigate to account.wsu.edu in your web browser. And then just go ahead and sign in with your network ID. So this is how OctaVerify is going to work once you get it set up. Um, it'll just send a notification to your phone. I already have it set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and accept that notification. Uh, it'll just pop up and ask if it's you, and you just tap on yes, it's me. So that's going to be kind of our end result. Let's go ahead and uh, get it set up that way. So on the account page, as you can see here, uh, you can scroll down through all your different account settings. What I'm going to do now is remove OctaVerify so that I can show you how to set it up. Okay, so as you can see now, my OctaVerify is no longer set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the Setup button here. All right, then we'll click Setup again. This is where you'll pick your device type. I'm on an iPhone, so I'm going to pick that. Now you will go ahead and download OctaVerify from the App Store. Uh, you can find it. It's on the Apple App Store, also on Google Play. And it's a free download. So once you have the app downloaded, uh, you're just going to want to go ahead and open it up. And then there should be a blue Add Account button. You'll just tap on that. And then from there, you can scan this barcode on the screen. And with that, you're good to go. So uh, that's all it takes to set up OctaVerify. Um, at this point, now you can go ahead and sign in, uh, and it will prompt you to authenticate with a push notification to your phone. This has been a tutorial from Students Helping Students, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.